Uh, I'd like to propose a toast to my son, Joel. You know, even when you were a little tyke, I, I, I knew you were going to grow up to do big things. And as you grew, you were the smartest, smartest kid I knew. And now, well, well, now you're the smartest man I know. Now, a lot of fathers will say that they want their, their kids to grow up like them. Not me. I always wanted my boy to be better. That's the deal, isn't it? We want our children to be better. Better prepared, better off, better people, better in the eyes of God. So, well, here's my son, Joel. Yeah, you know, ever since you've been home, you've been reminding me just how ignorant I am about the fine Don't stuff. interrupt me. You need to treat it like a business, Pop. You don't know the first thing about business, Pop. You know, it seems to me that in your eyes, I haven't been doing everything wrong. Who do you think you are? This business that I apparently don't know how to run just put you through Harvard. Where it seems that you learned how to treat people like a bunch of backwoods idiots. That is not what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help By you. By selling off my farm to a bunch of strangers? That's just it. It's not people that's investing in the farm. It's a fund. It's a hedge fund. It doesn't make any sense to me, Joel. Look, I know I'm the one who was dead set against knowing the sex of the baby. But now that we've picked names, I can't help it. I need to be able to picture the little tyke, so I need to know if we're having a Matthew or a Molly. Well, that's a switch. I know, I know, but I, th I, I think we ought to call the doctor uh, and find out. Okay. okay. Um, wow, are you sure? Because once you know, there's no going back. I understand, but I really want to know. It's a girl. What? We're having a girl. You know? For about a month. But how? I asked the doctor. We're having a little girl. Oh, maybe I, I hope she gets your smile. <laughs> Molly Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. You haven't had the most stable of upbringings. I always had food on the table. Look, what I'm saying is I screwed up a lot. I know that. But here you are, maybe finally getting your act together with a, a great girlfriend, and I can't take an ounce of credit for that. That is all you, kid. I mean, thanks. So maybe it's not too late for us. Think you can give your old dad a second chance? That'd be great. We spend a... Uh, Christmas in Laguna at the new beach house. Spend some real time together. I love that. Remember this? The red rocket? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, he loved that bike. It all went by so fast. All right, come on now. This is the last clean spoon. You throw this, and I'm gonna have to take time out to clean them all. You don't want that, do you? How about that? She likes everything, don't you? He got to eat. No, how about some watermelon? Everybody loves watermelon. Hey, hey, look at the funny clown. Oh. What would she do? Well, the only thing I can remember soothing the boy was her singing. Singing. Proud of all we have done, fighting till the battle's won. And the army goes rolling along. For it's high, high, hey, the army's on its way. Count out your cadence loud and strong. Two, three, four, wherever we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. Keep it rolling. He believes in you. He's just impossible to talk to. Okay, well, that's hereditary. 
Not on my side. All right, well, keep telling yourself that. Bet you wish you never married a farmer. Well, just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. But I sure am glad I married you.